I remember when they first appeared, carefully hiding my stomach in the primary school changing rooms, only to share my bare back to the other girls. Oh my god, what are those purple lines on your back? I didn't know what they were talking about. No, look, they're everywhere. I was so embarrassed, ashamed, and just wanted to run and hide. From then on, I had to hide both my stomach and my back. My first period came on Halloween. I woke up in a bloody bed. I could have laughed if I wasn't in so much pain. I used to wish that others could feel my pain, if just for a second. I would imagine the bullies and the popular girls at school feeling my pain just for a moment and falling to their knees. In my mind, they do not know what it's like to suffer, what it's like to be so ashamed of your body you wish you did not have one, to be so scared of others, to live in a home without both of your parents, to have this burning, soaring pain that endured inside me. Summer came. Shorts and bare arms were out of the question. They would see my scars and have just one more reason to make me cry. I never understood why my classmates didn't like it when I cried, why they avoided me, why they didn't understand that my foundations were being torn from beneath my feet and that my 10-year-old brain couldn't keep it together. More of them came splitting the skin on my thighs, my stomach, my breasts, as I grew and grew faster than anyone else my age. I guess that's why the boys didn't find me cute. <laughs> I stood towering above them, just wishing I was small enough for them to look down on me and make me look as small and vulnerable as I felt inside. But no. I was tall, intimidating and strong, my skin splitting at the seams, struggling to keep in all that lay within. So, I guess that's why it spilled out in the form of stinging tears. I hated my skin more than anything, my scars, my pimpled face and my pasty legs. I hated it even more when my high school teacher decided to share us a video of a pregnant 15 year old rubbing bio oil into her stretch mark belly to warn us of the dangers of underage sex. Oh, that is disgusting. The boys in my class squealed as the room erupted in painful laughter. See, it's not attractive, is it ladies? This poor girl has ruined her body forever my teacher announced. Fuck, I thought, forever. So that was that, covered head to toe. They mustn't see, they mustn't know. What, I guess, I did to myself. Doubled over in pain, clutching my scarred stomach on the bathroom floor, blacking out from the pain that I endured for being a woman. No pills, no medicine could cure this burning pain that struck me down once a month and lingered for the rest. My adolescence can be categorised in three words, painful, scarred, grow. Because yes, I grew. The pain made me grow into something that I could not understand. Into someone who knew something of life, who had already juggled and struggled with things the boys could not understand. Now, I did not care that I stood higher because that's the way I started to feel inside. But somehow, 
I grew to love my height, my suffering, my pain, and maybe even my scars, my bolts of beautiful lightning. Now, I reclaim them, not as stretch marks or something ugly to be ashamed of, but as symbols of my growth.